Hey guys, so from time to time we get this question about why are my calendar appointments that are not customer appointments, maybe vendors or someone else you booked with, on their calendar going over into high level and why are they getting reminders and notifications as if they booked uh, on my own calendar. So let me go ahead and walk you through how to solve that problem. So first thing you wanna do is go into settings and go into your own profile. Okay, you wanna go into profile, and in profile, you wanna go ahead and scroll down to uh, your calendar section, and you wanna click edit right here. Uh, when this pop-up opens up, so you see where it says allow contact creation, if you select a calendar from here, so whatever calendar that you've selected, anything you put on there is going to allow a two-way sync. So you wanna leave this blank, don't select anything here. If you have something selected, uh, deselect it um, so you don't allow the two-way sync. You only want the primary calendar to be here and then your, uh, your name to be chosen here. That's really it. That's all you have to do and that'll avoid your two-way sync. So that's one. And the second one is if you go under calendars, let's go to calendars uh, and if, in case you're happening to use uh, the unassigned calendar, this one uh, directly within, most people are not even using it because they're using the team calendars these days, which is what we would recommend that you do. But this one has a two-way uh, sync option right here, one-way or two-way sync. And if that two-way sync is enabled, that would also make the reason why your, uh, your any appointment you create inside your calendar for to meet with someone else or you, uh, and that will, get into your high level account and they would then receive messages as if they booked on your calendar. So that's what you need to do. And if you fix those problems, that'll take care of that issue for you. All right. Hope that helps. Thanks.